Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing of the Fragrant Jewels Summer Bliss Collection. I'll also show you all the ring reveals for the products inside. So it does come with a card. Each product comes with a ring that is stackable. So the first item that comes in there is a pineapple shaped bath bomb. And then they had a brand new product, which are shower fizzies. You got three of them, a pink, a blue, and a yellow. And it comes with instructions on the best way to use them. You don't want to put them like directly near the faucet. You want it shielded a little bit when you're in the shower. That way it doesn't dissolve super quick. I actually, when I used one, um, it's open on the sides but it's sealed with cellophane. So I kind of just cut it a little bit more and I just put the plastic and all in there. That way the water got to it, but it shielded it slightly, if that makes sense. So it has the ingredients and the instructions, which I found super helpful. And then I'll go ahead and show you the ring that came in that one. It's really pretty clear diamond like stones and it goes up slightly in the middle that way it could stack easily with another ring of course they all came with gold codes which means each ring valued at $25 and you got 25 reward points as well and the last product in the box is a body scrub I love their body scrub it is so moisturizing and I always work the container up to the top and then I open it. That way I'm not like making a mess. And the scrub smells so good. You should see my closet. I, I've taken the rings out of all of them, but it takes me a while to go through the scrub. So I have so much scrub in my closet. I always try to save as much as I can. And then I have to wipe off a little bit with a paper towel just because it's super gritty and oily. The next piece of my ring, I got a band that has little tiny hearts all through it. It's a little hard to see on camera, but I will show them again at the end. And the product cards, so you can see what they look like. And here's a short demo of the shower fizzies. So the blue one I let my husband use. So I turned on the shower and then I was like, get in the shower real quick so you could shield it because it was dissolving pretty quickly. It was very fragrant. Uh, the only thing I don't like is I feel like if you're going to make shower fizzies, they should be like straight menthol or like peppermint or lavender or like a spa like scent that maybe you want to use if you're sick or your nose is clogged or, you know, you're tired. Because just to have something that smells like pineapple when you're using body wash that's also high grief, highly fragrant kind of defeats the purpose to me. But I would be interested in purchasing these if they had ones that were like super minty. I get a lot of sinus infections and headaches and like mint always makes you feel better. So that's what I would use them for if they came out with something like that. So here's the bath bomb for the pineapple. Definitely a design we've seen in the past, but the fragrance notes for this entire collection smelled so good. Um, it had melon and coconut fragrance notes. To me, it just smelled like pineapples and coconuts, which I'm not mad at. I love those scents. So I really, really enjoyed all these products. I've used all the shower fizzies. I obviously used the bath bomb and I haven't used the scrub yet because I'm trying to use them in the order I got them. So it's going to be a hot minute before I get to that one. But this one did not want to stay on the screen. It kept zooming all over. And I think this is the last fragrant jewel video that I will be filming in this bathtub. My new bathtub, um, it's like a insert is that what they call it so it's like a cream color like an off-white so it's not like a bright white tub like here so I'm not sure how that's gonna come out when I film if it's gonna be bright enough it's gonna look dark so it'll be interesting um, have not used the bath bombs yet but I do have some rare sets that came I haven't even opened them yet um, we're in the new house but still have boxes everywhere it's very overwhelming I've taken multiple days off work and I still feel like I've accomplished nothing <laughs> and we're still in the process of selling the old house too. So 
uh, it'll calm down sooner or later. Just nothing in the near future. A lot of the videos you're watching I've already pre-filmed because I don't want to leave you guys hanging. And I try to do that anyway. It's just so I'm not a procrastinator and I can't stand being like, oh my gosh, I need a video up tonight because I, in my mind, have a schedule. I try to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, unless I'm backed up, I might throw like a Thursday or a Saturday in there. So I kind of have a method <laughs> to what I do on my channel. But please leave me any feedback um, with the new lighting, the new setup. I've been filming a lot in my kitchen for my subscription unboxings. Um, I do have a spot in the basement that I haven't quite set up um, that would look similar to my last setup. But again, I'm not sure with the lighting. So please help me out. Tell me if it looks good. Tell me if it sucks. <laughs> Maybe you don't like the way the counter looks. It's distracting. Leave me all feedback, anything that you notice in the next couple weeks. So here's the ring I got inside. It's a pretty blue color. And it just has a blue stone. That way you could fit it with the other rings. Um, they've put out several stackable rings in the past, so you can definitely mix and match and uh, wear one, wear two, wear all three at once. I think they're fun. I really do like stackable rings. So it looks cute just like that with the plain band. And then here's the one that goes slightly around it, which it seemed to like move a lot, I guess because the stone is smaller. It doesn't quite like get snuggled in there. I don't know. So I was messing with it for a bit, but overall smelled wonderful. I like the products. It was fun to have a new product, a little shower fizzy. Like I said, they all appraised for $25, 25 reward points. And I'll show you the card here again. It appears that they kind of go across in rows. So like the first row on the card are all the ones I got. So if you want to cheat, <laughs> though I don't encourage it, if you got like one of the other bands in the first product, you could probably figure out what you're getting in the other ones. But yeah, here are the other options. And let me know what you think of this collection. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.